G'day race fans, how are we? Adrian here, welcome back to Just A Ride. So with a track day imminent now, only just a handful of days away from me, I needed to hit the pause button on the CB125 and get cracking on the Jigsa K5 750 preparations for the uh, ensuing madness. Let's get the K5 in the Just A Ride race stand and get into it. All right, one of the things that I wanted to do here um, is this free play is just off its head, isn't it? Systematic of the bike that only gets used, you know, twice a year. <laughs> so um, I have a, a factory issue new lever because I reckon this one's all stretched out. So well, uh, that goes down into here. Let's have a go, shall we? Let's have a look. What have we got? So that is my clutch cable there. That's obviously got to be like a neutral switch or something. This whole case has got to come off. That guy's got to come off as well. Little boot, a rubber boot, a grommet. We come, you come out. Well, hello. That's adjustment. That little, uh, one of those. One of those. Yeah? The old bolt with the slice through it tells me that's adjustment so i'm just going to actuate the clutch up on the bar yeah thank you i reckon my free play has got nothing to do with a stretched cable i think my free play has got everything to do with this alignment i'm going to loosen that little guy off that move yeah that moved all right Uh -huh. Yeah, so I have my left hand is up on the bar right now, feeling, yep, free play, no free play. <laughs> Didn't I just um, save a job and I still have a spare, I'm going to tighten that up, just sort of make a mental note of the angle that that uh, is on. pinch that up that did not move I still have a spare clutch cable hey happy days cool so that that cable can go back into the spare box to be used another day that's awesome let's plug this guy up Okay, job's a good one. So I'll be honest, I don't often get the tail cowl off. So it is really nice uh, to get in and have a look at this. <clears throat> this was a purchase that I made years ago after a redundancy package came my way from a job. Um, and it was a specific track bike. This was a, so it's a 2005 Jixa 750, that was a stat write-off, a statutory write-off. Um, and a dude obviously bought it and converted it to a track bike. And it's things like this. <laughs> mm, that is my rectifier. <laughs> just, just sitting there. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, am going to get busy. with my supplies of uh, foams. 
and I'm going to chock that up so it's nice and neat and tidy. And it's not flying loose in the breeze. <laughs> All the rest of this is secure. I'll check my fuses and whatnot whilst I'm here. And I also have a shaky can. I'm going to sort that out. Just trying to get a bit of light. You can see the the oil that's in it at the moment. See that oil in, at the moment uh, for my track bike? Ah, too cloudy. That's had uh, two track days. I think it would be its third. So that's not good enough. <coughs> Oil's coming out. <coughs> so that's gonna mean a new filter and dump the oil out. So first step is just undo this and take it off to release the pressure of the oil that's in there. You don't wanna be dumping the uh, some plug out without having taken that out first. You might just get a bit squirty squirty. All right, it's time to get underneath the jack of this thing now. There's not much to a sports bike once you start stripping all the uh, plastics and tanking off and seat cal off, eh? So low to the ground too, it's incredible. All right, we're going up under here. Okay. <clears throat> 17 mil some plug oh oh you did fall on me near motorcycle yeah a bit of a bit of force is implied it's only implied though and the art here is sort of putting resistance back on the bolt so when you do get to that oh there it is that last thread it's as clean as it can be there we go okay filter okay Time to get the filter off. And you've got to love a sports bike too. I don't, it's not a sports bike until when you're taking the air, the oil filter off. <laughs> it goes all over the head of pipes. There you go. Uh, it's good for you. Just adds to the ambiance the next time you start the bike up and you're enveloped in a purple haze. There you go. And like I said, you know, you're just sort of watching the oil coming out, any sort of foreign bodies like, uh, oh, that's normal. So, yeah, there's my sump plug. Give that a clean. I'm good to go. Okay, so I've got my rectifier now nice and firmly in there, just with a couple of pieces of uh, foam like that. Just chopped in there. All good. Give this a quick detail. Check my fuses. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I had um, one of the, like, so it's the original, um, that's where the tank is sitting. And I always knew it, but I didn't have one of them. So I've just got a bolt in there with a dome head just for insurance. And another little piece of my fabricating foam expertise on there. It's so therapeutic, just doing these little half-assed things, you know. I love it. It's my therapy. All right, oil in time. New filter. No sticker. Oh, step your game up. High flow. Should be a sticker in there. Yeah, know what I'm saying? 
All right. Be sure and have a good healthy slice through the rubber O-ring when you do this. All right, I'm just gonna prime this filter with a bit of goodness so it's not all just, you know, ugly and dry and that. Soak up the goodness. Soak it up. All right, time to go back on the bike. You know, I didn't realize until I started to make a YouTube channel as to how many involuntary noises come out of me. <clears throat> Sorry for that. I don't mean to do them. Ooh, they're just that tight. It's tight enough that I can't do it up with my hand. I can't loosen it with my hand. All right. Try and get some of that old engine oil off the header pipes. It is always going to be a bit smoky that first time around. Start fire with that. I need a funnel. So the case is telling me 2.8 litres goes in here. I just like to decan into a smaller container. It's just more manageable. Man manageable? Yeah, you, know, you know what I mean? So 300 at a time, I'm dropping here. Oops. So once you've got the, uh, the you've primed the oil filter, you've got that on, and you drop in 2.8 litres of oil, you put the sun plug in and you're ready to go. There's always a bit of conjecture I find as to the number that's stamped <coughs> on the case and what actually in reality it can take. So that's why the sight glass is my ultimate confirmation. Not a paid endorsement. All right, this product I find is the best. So what I'm about to do is give it a good chain clean and then the, the lube after it. Obviously the chain gets lubed regularly, but uh, only on the, I don't know, maybe three times a year. Just this, uh, it's like a degreaser, but it's still not super harmful. Like I would, I would never spray that on my chain. That'd just be silly. Or a silicon based product. Ludicrous. So this just gets a nice little rinse. And then this guy comes into play. Fantastic little tool it is. Mm. 
Nice. And an attempt now to get to the underside of the chain without breaking your tool. Crisis averted. Change of technique. That's the guy. All right, hey. happy there. It's always pretty clean of uh, excess lube in and around those terrible areas that lube does accumulate. I think I could tighten my chain now, just quietly. Always seems to be the way when you give that chain clean, you're just gonna release a little bit of the crap that's holding it, what you believe to be as tight, but it's not. So, number two. Alright, pit stop. Stop the stopwatch. The big the biggest sprocket I own. Oh he's all man, isn't he? That's uh it's 36 of your bad boys there, kids. And what I was chasing on the other side was a similar you know, rotation of, uh, of the tool on the other side to ensure that it went back straight. I still have the lines on the swing arm and the, uh, the chain tensioning mount there, which I will eyeball at the end. But it's always just nice to do symmetry. Mm -hmm. I'm happy there. What are we on there? Nowhere near what I need. Eighty foot pounds of pork talk. Yeah, it was that much a bit more. Alright. Eh? Beep. Jobs are good. Oh, did that level of OCD impress you? <laughs> I'm a special kind, aren't I? That's about three years old too. Yeah. Probably a good reason to 
change it and upgrade it. That was finger tight. Hmm. That's good. All right, let's replace these. All right. That's what I got. I don't want that no more. Well, hello, sir. All right, you've just been superseded. Yeah, I don't think I've got a nylon nut. I'll make it, make it special, we shall. Even put a split washer insurance policy on it. Could be a bit smaller, that one. Nice. Nice. Thread lock. As good as a nylon lock nut when you don't have a nylon lock nut. Yes. That's as good as it's going to get. I forgot to mention that I had checked the air filter and it was as clean as so the cap went back on and didn't touch it um, but apart from that the bike is now tickety-boo up to scrutineering scrutiny and uh, yeah looking forward to my track day at Morgan Park in um, in a wee bit should be fun looking forward to it bull throttle all right peace out people be safe and be happy